Hey, welcome to iPad Fest 2015. My name is Brian Buffington, and I'm here in lovely White County, Georgia. I work at a place called Pioneer Risa, where we provide technology training and other trainings to 15 school systems up here in Northeast Georgia. And I'm so glad you tuned in. It's probably because you saw me advertise it, or you had one of these awesome people here today share it with you to, to join in. Today. today is all about this device right here. And um, this device came out about 2007. And since then, it's been filling schools up here in Georgia and around the world. Um, and um, today, I've got some people here today th throughout the Pioneerisa district in Northeast Georgia. They're, they come from different counties. And these are people who are actually in the trenches. These are teachers. And they have, they've actually tried this, this device with their students. And they're going to show you some of their favorite ways to use the iPad in their classes. And not only that, they're going to share their lesson plans with you later on. If you are able to register for the event, that means I will send you a link and you'll get all those lesson plans after the event. This event will also be recorded. And so that, that way you can get the event later. Some of you can't watch it all day because you have to teach. And so that way you can watch it. I do want to encourage everybody today, if you're watching, make sure you hashtag iPadFest when you're using Twitter. We also have a chat a chat room at White County or whiteco.tv. That's where we're broadcasting today. You'll see the link. There's a chat room. Feel free to do that if you're not a Twitter person. And we're also going old school, which I think is the new school, phone hotline. So it makes me feel like Batman when somebody calls. So make sure you call and um, any kind of input or questions, or you just want to say thanks for providing this training. Well, I, I do want to start. I want to thank White County Warrior TV for actually putting this on. Um, this is actually through a grant through ESC Networks and the Governor's Office. Uh, together, um, they're able to get equipment into schools' hands so students can work with equipment and, um, and look at careers in broadcasting and film. Um, it's for middle school and high school students, and if you're interested in that, you can, you can check out ESC Networks or, or search the Governor's Program or Governor's Office um, about the grant. Well, to get things started, I'm actually going to show you um, a couple things I like. Um, on the iPad, and one of those is a app. Uh, it's called Google Photos, and I've, I've done some training on this lately. And the teachers I've worked with love this because this comes from a, a management side, and even your personal photos. So I want you to imagine this: you have your phone. You have your phone. There you are. You're taking pictures all day of your children in your classroom, even your personal children at home. And all of a sudden, your phone goes, "No more fun for you, Brian. Your camera's full." And you're like, man, which kid do I delete off my phone? Nobody wants to do that. All right, nobody wants to do that. So Google Photos is, is tied to your Google account. A lot of people in this region have Google Apps for Education, which means they already have a Google account. A lot of you have personal accounts in Google. So it works like this. You can get the app for your phone or your iPad. And so I'm going to look at the iPad. I'm going to pull it up. I want you to see this. There it is. On the bottom left, you see Google Photos. There you go, some great shots of me doing some trainings here. And tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take, before I do this, I want to show you how this works. But right there, you can see some pictures that's in my Google Photos. This is cloud storage. That means if my iPad was ran over by a truck, um, I would still have my photos in my session today. And these lovely, lovely people out there, they can see how this works. So I'm with the camera. Actually, here, I got, hey, hey, camera guy, he's on the shot. There's what, so some of you want the, uh, the footage of how the room looks. Hey, get your hands up in the air like you just don't, yeah, there we go. Oh, here's, okay, here we go. Look at that vertical one, too. Bam. Oh, that's a little unconventional for broadcasting television, but I did it anyways. So I took some pictures, and I'm going, we're going to pull back up Google Photos. And what it does is it ties, see, let's see what I'm doing there. It's already uploading. It knows what's in my camera roll. It's automatically uploading to my account. Now I can delete those photos and save some space on my iPad. So then I can, I can download more cool apps, which are going to be shown today. So they're already uploaded. There they are. You can see them. I'm going to go here, make that full screen. Bam! Here's the hands in the air. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It happened just like that right here in the studio in White County home of the Cabbage Patch Hospital. All right, so, so that's, that's nice, but let me tell you what's even better about this app. It organizes photos. So as a teacher, I want you to think about this. Students love having their picture taken in a way that adults can't fathom. We're just like, man, 
we, we don't want to be on the camera all the time. At least some do. I like it. I don't, I don't really care. But you can, um, I'm going to show you my personal account since I have a lot more photos in there. I want to show you how this organizes things. So my personal account, so you see, see what I'm doing there? I'm in Google Photos. I can change it from my work account to my personal. I'm sure I get lots of spam emails now that everybody knows my email address. Here we go. That's fine. All right, so there's, here's all the pictures. I mean, this, this, this goes for days. I mean, look, I've been uploading pictures a long time. And also you need to know this, on a computer, some of you have terabytes of photos. Terabytes. I mean, lot, I mean, it's a big number. That's a lot of photos at home that you're storing. But that hard drive may crash one day. You can upload those pictures to unlimited to your Google uh, Photos account. So I want you to see this. I'm going to go to search on my iPad. At the bottom right, there's a search button. Now look at this. I already organized by Google does facial recognition like no other. So here is um, here's L. Buffington, flower child right here. Let's click on her. And Google has said, you know, whoever this person is, their face looks like this, and it takes all the other pictures that look like that, and it categorizes them. So that means I can get a picture of L. Buffington anytime very quickly. So this goes on for a long time. She was the uh, second child, so there's not as many pictures of her, um, but uh, still plenty. So as you can see, we're at, we're, we're at 2014, and this I means she was born you know, way before then. What happened this day? Oh, there she is. Look. Isn't that cool? That is cool to me. I think it's be cool to you too. So we can, so we can upload our pictures to Google Photos, and what we're going to do right now is I'm going to have, I'm going to have our guests, our presenters today, our teachers that have came from long distances all the way from Hart County. Thank you. Give me a what what? They're here, and they are. Um, I want them to download Google Photos, and they're going to play with this for for right now. So if you're in the room, over there, make sure you can download Google Photos, and they're going to play play around and we're gonna get some footage of them to kind of see if they know they know how to make this kind of thing work so if they can do it that means you can do it too right um, while they're downloading Google Photos I'm gonna show you one more thing and this is um, this is a big one so uh, when I work with K-5 schools the biggest issue is how does a student create something on an iPad and they get it off the iPad? Am I right, teachers, in the room? Yeah. yeah. So if the student makes something on the iPad, how do they get it off? Because a lot of them don't have email addresses. So there's a, there's a website called dropit2.me that will let you hook up to your Google Drive and students can input or upload their photos or their work that they're doing in, on their iPad and send it directly to your Google Drive for a K-5 student because they're not, they're not really allowed to have email addresses. So I'm going to show you how that works too and then we're going to, we're going to have the iPad. Um, we're going to get you some shots of everybody kind of working on these two things, Google Photos, and drop it to me. So I'm going to pull it up. I want you to see this. I want you to look what I have on the screen right here. I have a link, and this could easily be a QR code. It says drop it to dot me slash iPad fest. Students can go there, they type in the password, watch this. It says watch what I'm doing on the screen here. It says select to upload. I go to the photo library. Maybe your student's working on a collage in Pit Collage or some other app they're doing. So I'm going to take one of those photos we just took. It's going to upload. It's uploaded. And I already have my password in there. You give the students a password. And so the password for mine was iPad Fest. So I'll tell you what I'm going to have. I'm going to have the teachers in the room go to dropit2.me slash iPad Fest, if you would do that. And you can see them right now. I think we're kind of walking around. Drop it to dot me slash iPad Fest. The password is iPad Fest. I want you to upload one of the pictures that you have. 
even out there, even the audience, we could try this too. Some of you are out there, different places throughout the state. So it's dropit2.me slash iPadFest. I made that link. It could be called Mr. Buffington or Project One. I want to give a little wait time and let them do that. So let's just momentarily wait for them to go there. And I want them to upload a picture or something they have off their device. A picture or maybe a PDF if they're on a laptop. And this is a good reminder. If you're enjoying what's happening so far, you're learning some cool stuff, hashtag iPadFest. You can call in, ask questions, or use our chat system on the website. Hey, raise your hand in the room if you got, you're able to upload something. All right, so we have a few. I'm going to give them just a little more time. And we're going to check and see if it worked. If it works, I think it's going to be a wonderful thing. So let's see. I think it's going to work. Hey, y'all can talk a little bit back there. It's okay. It's <laughs> Yeah, I'm encouraging classroom noise right now. That's okay. All Hey, we got some finishing up. We're going to go to my iPad. We're going to go to my iPad. I want you to see how this works. All right, I've had everybody look up here on my, on my iPad. So I made this link. I made this link for them to, for an elementary school student to easily upload something to me. Do y'all think that's pretty easy? All right, let's see if it shows up. Let's see what happens. So, here we go, I, on the drive, I'm going to open my drive app. It's going to happen. Wait, I have a folder called Drop It To Me. All right, check this out. So in Drop It To Me, I have separate folders, because I can make separate pages. So I can have a first period folder, buff, first period, buff, second period. And these students, they can upload their, their iPad work that they're doing that way. So let me open up iPad Fest. Let's see what kind of crazy, oh my goodness. Y'all see this? Is that a picture of Neil? A Neil avatar. Hey, Neil, thanks for watching, man, right there. Bam, right for the world to see. Man, I just want to borrow your sweater, Neil. All right. What is this? There's a nice tiger. Look at that, man, it's a beautiful. Here, what's, there's lots of screaming in the room. I don't know if y'all could hear that or not. People are really excited about this. So what we did, we, we created a link through Drop It To Me, and, and students can go there, they put the password in, and it uploads automatically to your Google Drive. Man, what a, man, could that save some headache? I think so. Save a lot of headache. Let's see what else we have here. This looks like a fun one. What is it? Oh, that's me. <laughs> that's me on TV. That's awesome. I think that's all the way from Franklin County. Goodness. Here, what else we got here? Hey, we have a bunch of kids watching this right now in the gym. That's amazing. All right, hey, I'm going to show you how to set this up. And then we, we've got about, I've, my session has about seven more minutes, so I'm going to take a break and let somebody else come up here and talk. But I'm going to show you how to set this up, and then we're going to get, the, we're going to get some footage of them doing this. So watch this. Let me go back to my Drop It To Me. Okay. And they're going to make me log in again. So everybody get my, I'm going to write this down, get my password and email address. 
So if you're in the room, you can set up an account at dropit2.me. Uh, drop if you're watching right now, you can set up an account too. Might as well. You're watching anyways. So go and set it up. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. Yay, it's working. All right, so you make an account. And this might be a good full screen. Um, if, if, if our awesome Warrior TV account could do this, because you need to see some of the small text here. So let's full screen the iPad if possible. And I want you to see this. So you have your profile, but you need to go to Connections, and you need to connect your Drop It To Me account to one of your, to one of your um, online stores. So Google Drive is very popular up here in Northeast Georgia, across Georgia. So you can add one. So I have my personal and my work one there, B, B. Buffington at Pioneer Risa, and I could connect another one if I wanted to. So I could connect a Dropbox or a OneDrive for my Microsoft friends. So you can, you can connect them that way. You have to do that for it to drop things in your cloud storage. The next step is the most important. That's creating these little pages where your students or adults will go to. I was just at a school, a high school, where a, a, um, a wrestling coach said, you know what, I'm going to use this. I'm going to set up a Drop It To Me account, and I'm going to give the page to parents, give them the password, and anytime they take a photo of a wrestling event, I'm going to have them upload it there so I have them all together so I can share it with all the other parents. That's a great idea. And we're not fiddling with emails. So this is, this is how you create the pages. I have three. I have Brian Buffington, Fan and iPads, iPad Fest. I can create a new one. Let me show you that. You have to set up, how do you want it connected? I could say my Google Drive, my B Buffington. You make up a page. So drop it to .me could be Let's see here. Heart, like Heart County. I could say Heart Co. I'm going to have a password. I'll, I'll have it Heart Co too. And then I can also sit, change directions for students or people going here. So the title can be Send Files to Heart Co. Uh, drag or select. So this will actually work from a desktop too. You don't have to do it just from, a laptop, from an iPad or a mobile device. So I'm going to create this page. It's called drop it to.me slash heartco. Hit create page. We've got it. It's there. And we can edit the password too. And you need to. If you're working with older students, that password more than likely would need to be changed. Because if that password gets out for so long, they're just going to upload all kinds of weird, crazy things to your account. So you could change the password every period if you wanted. It doesn't take a long time. Every day, um, if you're having people submit lots of assignments, especially for older students younger students too. Um, hey, that's, that's drop it to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have the, I'm gonna have the um, I want you to get some shots of everybody here in the room playing around with drop it to me and Google Photos. I'm going to walk around and kind of see what they're doing and let, join in the fun here. So make sure you can play along too. That's Google Photos or drop it to me and then I'll get back and we'll, um, we'll close up and get ready for another, another presentation.